regreso aquí en Auto 060 y vamos a terminar el show de esta semana con una entrevista muy especial, diferente si acaso, porque no es precisamente de autos, es de la compañía de la que hablamos en el segmento anterior, Bombardier Recreational Products, eh, una compañía canadiense que hace cosas muy divertidas, la verdad, porque es la Canam Spider, el ski el Sea-Doo, o sea, vehículos eh, para recreacionales totalmente. Y bueno, en la, en la presentación del nuevo modelo, el modelo Spark del SIDU, tuvimos la oportunidad de hablar nada menos que con el presidente y director ejecutivo de la compañía, señor José Bosoli, eh, quien nos va a dar eh, más detalles del producto como tal de la compañía y de algo muy interesante que pasa también con los fabricantes de autos y es la expansión que están teniendo en México para producir sus uh, vehículos y exportarlos al resto del mundo. Así que aquí vamos a la entrevista con José Bourjolí, el presidente y director ejecutivo de Bombardier Recreational Products. Well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for having us here. It's been a very educative uh, experience for me. We, we talk mostly about cars here, but uh, anything that has a, an engine and goes fast and it's fun belongs in the show. And your new product definitely does. Good. Happy about that. Yeah. So, um, can you tell, uh, for people who are not very familiar with this uh, B BRP and uh, the whole company, can you just briefly tell us about the company? I mean, we are a Canadian-based company. Uh, we exist for more than 50 years, and we always been involved in recreational product. Uh, the company was founded by Joseph Armand Bombardier, who invented the snowmobile, and from the snowmobile we have had the watercraft, We're involved in ATVs side by side, the roaster, uh, the roaster spider, and we also manufacturing uh, even road outboard engine. Then we are a company who sell right now in 105 country uh, worldwide, uh, and uh, we have factory in Europe uh, and in North America, in Mexico, United States, and Canada. We employ about 6,800 people. Then diversified. Product, product portfolio, diversified uh, different network, and diversified manufacturing footprint. Yeah. Uh, but uh, the SIDU, the, um, it's, it's your main product? Is that the, 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 the method? The SIDU is uh, an important product line for us. Uh, we, it was our second product line that we came in, into. Uh, SIDU is still a very uh, important product line, part of our seasonal uh, product category. Yeah. But I understand that the industry, the pers water um, personal craft, uh, has been in a crisis for uh, quite some time, right? I mean, we entered the watercraft industry in 1989, uh, and we had an incredible growth uh, from uh, 92 to 97, 98. In 97, 98, uh, the industry started to decline. Uh, there was some bad press about some uh, accident, about the two-stroke engine. Uh, and it was not as cool as it used to be. And since the watercraft industry has flat out, uh, and it's still a good industry, but we're looking for something to respark that industry, to respark, to, to start another uh, life cycle, you know. Yeah. Uh, and we believe that with the Spark, we, we will succeed. Okay, and uh, you just mentioned the Spark, so the new product and something completely new. And if you were to make a comparison to a car industry, uh, the auto industry, it would be like, for example, when Porsche came, had the 911, and then they had the, the Cayman? Yeah, you could see it that way, uh, even if it's a bit the reverse. Uh, what we were trying to do is uh, maybe another example, because it's, it's going down, not up. Uh, it's uh, the BMW. You know, BMW had the 3 Series, the 5 Series, the, the 7 Series. And they came out with the one series, you know, uh, yeah. uh, a car that has the pure DNA of BMW, but yeah. is more affordable, fun, and a bit more uh, younger to yeah. attract Yeah, I was talking people. about that. They came another the Cayenne, not the SUV. The Cayenne, <laughs> the so, yeah, that, that, you're right, like, you're right, you're right, you're right. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. But uh, it's, it's more or less like, so making a, a very cool product that has all the, the, the characteristics of the, of the company, of the brand, of the, of the other products that you, that you make and sell. But still, very fun. We already tried it for a full day, and it's it's pretty amazing. And someone like me that don't have too much experience and all that, uh, you, Jax, your designer, saw me going out and said, "Oh, you didn't really push it." That <laughs> and I said, "Well, I didn't want to be the first journalist to make the stupid mistake on the first lap." So I went um, easy, 
but then the learning curve is, is easy too. It's Within easy. an hour, I was like pushing the whole, whole throttle, the whole yeah. thing, and it's, it's pretty amazing. So congratulations on that because it's, it's a fun product. It really, it really is. And that was one of the mandates when you started this project, right? Which took yeah. a long time I mean, to, to, to do. The code name, the internal code name of the product was, because for every project we have an internal code name, was CAFE for yeah. clean, affordable, fun, easy to use. And the mandate was to deliver on those four points, and I believe that our people have done a very good yeah. job. So the Spark is a smaller, and more affordable um, water uh, personal craft. Um, what, uh, I understand the pricing is, is one of the um, more amazing things, the technology, the design, and everything are cool, but the pricing is, is pretty shocking. I, I understand it's like, almost a thousand dollars less than anything else in the market the goal was to put two watercraft on the trailer for the price of one then today we're launching this year a family of watercraft and the entry level one plus one uh, 60 horsepower model is 49.99 and you have many model up to uh, 71.99 then you have uh, a family of vehicle uh, in that price range which make it again affordable for a younger family yeah uh, another thing about uh, some people have concerns about towing and like uh, where to start the, the thing it's really light um they the, when they first show us to us the other night they had um they kind of on the out of the lake and then uh three boys and one girl pick it up like nothing <laughs> put it on the stand it was pretty amazing so it's light which also helps with the performance, but it also helps with towing. Like you, you don't need a big car to, to tow it. Right? Absolutely right. Uh, it's uh, for about 450 pounds. Then it's about half the weight of today a uh, normal watercraft, and it's very easy to, like you said, to move around on yeah. the dock or on the beach and uh, a small car will easily pull it on the trailer. Yeah. The other big news about uh, the company besides the product is uh, you have a new plant in Mexico, right? Yeah, we have, uh, we, we, we transfer some production from Canada to Mexico in URIs in 2005. And the URIs factory right now is... That's uh, in Canada? That URIs in Mexico. Oh. It is, is, is a full. And we decided to build a new factory in Querétaro. Oh, okay. And in Querétaro right now, we started the, the factory is done. We started the assembly of engine last November. And the cafe, the Spark production, cafe is a cool name again. The Spark <laughs> production uh, started on August 5th, and all the watercraft will be assembled uh, in Querétaro in the next two years. For the whole world. Yeah. That's great news about Mexico. Uh, I think like companies like you trust in uh, Mexico. Uh, like really helping not only your industry but like a whole country in a way. Absolutely, for us, uh, we have factory in Canada, we have factory in the United States, and uh, now two factory uh, in Mexico, and we're very happy with uh, our footprint in North America. Well, thank you again for your time, for your information, and especially for the phone that I had in the past few days. And uh, where, where can the audience find more about CIDU? I mean, obviously, you go on our website, uh, a BRP or CDU website, and you have all the information. CDU.com? CDU.com. And BRP.com, too. Yep. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye. Pues ese fue José Bojoli, el presidente y director ejecutivo de Bombardier Recreational Products, la compañía canadiense que, como escucharon ahí, fabrica, entre otras cosas, el CDU. Habían empezado con el SKIDU, que es la moto para la nieve, eh, y bueno, eh, interesante ver cómo una industria que tiene cierto paralelo con la industria de los autos ha tenido sus uh, altibajos eh, y ha estado en realmente en, en, en caída desde hace ya varios años. En algún momento llegaron a vender 200.000 unidades por año y ahora están alrededor de 40.000. Así que SIDU espera que con el nuevo Spark 2014 puedan, eh, como lo dice el nombre en inglés, Spark, eh, re, reiniciar, volver a darle un impulso a esta industria y hacerla otra vez eh, productiva y eficiente. Así que bueno, no se vayan esto, no, bueno, ya se tienen que ir porque esta es la última edición, el último segmento de Auto 060. Los espero próximamente aquí nuevamente en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting. Thank <laughs> you.